King Kong, Great White Shark, Zilla, and tripods that suck your b And now, drum roll please, because up next is a bear? Right, ladies and gentlemen. Latest fine man versus nature thriller is none other than bear. The movie is technically classified as a mystery thriller slash comedy, which it definitely is. I would also put it safely in the film genre. Rivalist film. Brutal, and the special effects are wrenchingly realistic. The film is produced by Elizabeth Banks, who likely knows Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. And it stars Carrie Russell. Spends most of the film trying to find her daughter, played by Brooklyn Prince. Probably know her from The Florida Project. She also played the younger version of Wonder Woman. Her and her friend, played by Christian Convery, are basically on the run from a killer bear who has ingested a large amount of a specific substance. He also follows Margot Martindale and her beau, played by Jesse Tyler Ferguson, as they desperately try to find the kids who've gone missing because of this bear. Now, the oldest son of Ice Cube, O'Shea Jackson Jr., also has a prominent role in this film as he and his friend Alden Einrich are heavily invested in recovering the product because they and their father, their best friends, and one of the guys, his dad, they owe a lot of money to some bad people. And so they are desperately trying to recover the substance that this bear has taken. And so it becomes this kind of chase of like, who's going to get the substance versus like the mom who's trying to save her kids, the park rangers who's trying to save everyone. This super sadly was also Ray Liotta's last film. He played the dad of the two guys who were trying to recover the substance and he gave a great performance. It's super sad that this was his last movie. Um, and all in all, all, I would say if you aren't squeamish, definitely give it a watch. It's definitely funny at times. It's definitely kept my attention the whole time. I did have to look away a lot during the bear scenes though, because sometimes it was literally brutal. But um, yeah, fascinating film. I don't even know how to like really respond to it because it's just like such a sensory experience. Definitely though, if you're squeamish at all, like maybe don't watch it because it was a lot.